All right, here's the fun part of life on the road. Um, see that fluid? And we look under here. All that, I'm pretty sure, is transmission fluid. So, I'm gonna walk a couple miles to, I think it's Fitzhugh, Fitzhugh Auto Service or Auto Mechanics. I gotta secure all my stuff. I talked to him, I talked to the mechanic. He's like, I don't have anything until Monday. Today's Friday. Uh, I guess I'm sitting tight here near Kentucky Lake for a couple days. But I gotta secure all my stuff, get my rods inside, get my torpedo inside, cable up the kayak, because I'm gonna leave this truck for a little while. This sucks. So I had been up at the, the Iron Kayaker House where all the guys from Mexico came up to compete in the KBF National Championship. Did an interview video with those guys and uh, was on my way back to get ready for um, the Trail Series and Pro Series award ceremony for the, well, it's not the KBF National Championship. That award ceremony is tomorrow. Uh, and currently, I, uh, I'm waiting on John Hipsher to save me. Team Yak Attack to the rescue of Jeff. I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate that it started doing this, and I looked in the rearview mirror, I'm like, I'm kicking up a lot of dust, or is that something else? Is it smoke? And I look in the rearview mirror at the tailpipe, and the tailpipe isn't belching anything, but something's happening. Something's definitely obscuring my view looking back and it was transmission fluid just it's it's all over the underside of the kayak on the fenders and I just stopped there once I got to let's see that light down there it um it, the, the shifting started to be affected I could tell Ugh. yeah that's got to be transmission fluid and uh I hopped out I've got a B at the Yak Attack house tonight. That's the last night they got that Airbnb. But I'll be here for a couple days because, uh, you know, the, the mechanic can't work on it till Monday. This is Friday afternoon. I'll be here at the Dover Inn Motel in Dover, Tennessee. Um, pretty cool place, man. They got, uh, they got a deer cooler. And... Uh, this is a gentleman that probably will be using it. Uh, I will not. I will bring all my editing equipment into one of these. Hopefully the Wi-Fi is good enough to, to get a few videos edited and launched. I have a day on the Harpeth with, uh, with John Hipsher uh, and Wade Clements to edit. I have the interview with Iron Kayaker guys. And most importantly, I have a video of Russ Snyder's day two performance he's out there eh, an hour and 24 minutes remaining of competing in the kbf national championship russ it's gonna be a good video i'm i'm actually glad that i have downtime on this trip which continues i'm going to kentucky and arkansas and kansas and all sorts of places missouri maybe oklahoma or maybe not Maybe my truck is finally dead at 286 or 266. Maybe it's 267. I don't know. I do 40,000 miles a year on it. And this is the first transmission issue I've had. Hopefully, Fitzhugh Auto Repair here in Dover, Tennessee can get me back up and running on Monday. If not, things are going to get interesting this far from home. Here's my rescue crew. Joe's driving. Wade's on. Pratt and Shotgun. There's Mr. Hipshire, and I got 18 millimeter wrenched. Take the uh, transmission fluid, whatever it is, off. This is a machine that pumps it in, and it have some little attachment to get it up and in there. And there's no dipstick. And uh, I don't know. We we looked up the specific transmission fluid that it needs. I'm gonna pump it in there, and it's gonna, you know, for whatever it costs, spew out 
as I drive the truck up this hill. It's less than two miles. It's an expensive band-aid just to get it up there to sit for two days and they'll work it on, on it on Monday. It's better than, you know, I'm hoping that I saved the transmission from uh, from totally being fried. Like it was acting weird starting here. Do you not have triple N? No. Do you want me to go? You want me to go sit with you at the vehicle? We just call triple N. <laughs> my mom pays for it for the, my whole life, and I've never used it on myself. Right. But I've used it for so many friends on fishing trips. So you got a Hummer stuck in the mud one time, like off site at a boat ramp, like not even near the boat ramp. They brought out a big record to tow that thing home. So if, if, wow. if we need to do that, we we can. I can sit there. I have my wallet in. Oh no. Yeah, is it yeah. transferable to other folks like if i'm in the vehicle yeah yeah hmm. we gotta break out the old what loyal lifetime oh, member since 2008 so this is the key for fishing adventures in my opinion yeah which way i need to do that i want to hear more of the story of how the hummer got so far off site from the boat ramp that it got stuck in the mud <laughs> that doesn't it. exactly sound like a fishing trip mm, we're fishing but we're also having a little fun too so, yeah. Can you bring a record with four wheel drive and mud and tires? Oh, I brought out a big record for that one. It was just an H3, but it was deep. This is the tool that's going to get it up in there. I got a 18 millimeter box wrench to get it off. And I got some photos from the mechanic's uh, computer what it looks like I'm going after. Yep, I'm looking at pictures. I got no clue. Right here, it's a 2013. John's calling a tow truck. I can't get that loose. I've put the nip X on it. We had uh, 18 millimeter box wrench, and I've I put the nip X on it and hit it hit the end of the that wrench adjustable wrench with a hammer, and I've hammered on that. But that's what we need to get off, and I've not been able to do that so we're we're gonna tow because i'm not getting it done so triple a said uh the current dispatcher couldn't get anyone but they basically put in a work order to uh reach out when they're able to get a hold of a team usually i've never had to wait more than 10 to 15 minutes to get an answer back but um, we're gonna wait it out and see and see what happens i think in 15 minutes you think this will work? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. This. Joe's got a tow strap. We're gonna hook it to the the and and if this doesn't work, then we'll revert back to AAA. But I've actually done this once before, and I've actually moved to a vehicle ten miles. So we're starting with. Yep. We're gonna hook that on. We got. I think it's like 1.7 miles or something. Yeah. So I'll put my flashers on and put it in, uh, put my vehicle in neutral and um, just yeah. be ready to hit the brakes so I don't rear end you. Yep. And that's about it. And then I just steer and we all have our flashers on and we'll get it up the hill. Basically, that's it. All right. You got your arms folded. What? You, you have a very skeptical look with your arms folded. Just the innocent standby for okay. the bystander in this one that uh, we'll see what happens. I, I did it with, with my uncle who's a mechanic. It was a Honda Civic that had, I want to say similar mileage, but no, that Civic had way more. The odometer actually quit. 
the odometer on that Civic quit at pockets. like 300 and some, and then we drove it for another five years and then sold it. Someone bought it. And then I saw it a year later, still on the road. Made it. The strap didn't. <laughs> Joe, I, I think I had the right amount of momentum to just pull in here. Yeah, I If this had happened like a quarter mile that way, we wouldn't be here. Yeah. So I owe you a strap and I appreciate you. Obviously, a defective strap, you can have it. Yeah. I will replace it. Replace your strap. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez, I might find a use of that. Well, we're here. I'm waiting on. Uh, Dion to come back and uh, I give my keys and then we're on our way I think to uh, the KBF National Championship at least what, what are we going over on this one it's the this is the series uh, and no 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 this is the national championship third day yeah or, and, and and but the award ceremony tonight is not oh the it's that team trail and, and challenge yeah team trail and challenge yeah so we're heading to that and then uh, I guess I'm I'm planted here in Dover for a while until I get the truck fixed. At least till Monday. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for saving.